Congratulations, everyone! <laughs> it appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! Well, the first ones, anyway. So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. But thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? Uh, to be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Irgendwas in der Musik ist da, das andauernd so klingt wie Eidenbänder schreit. Und ich dachte die ganze Zeit, dass da irgendwie die gleich angerannt kommt. Zwei, drei, oh, Moment, eins war offen. <lacht> genau. Wo ist der Strand? Der war gleich hier rechts. Ja. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention it, I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So I don't get lost? Is the island really so big? <laughs> if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort in it. Well, no, I've never been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big range. Um... And there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything. Food to living and amenities. Hmm... The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> The restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say too? Ah, I found something very important on this island. I can't stop this girl, it's a very, very cute girl. It's a horrible place. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> All of you are fools. Can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one had realized that you're more bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What do you just say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking about big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. Oh shit. The most serious truth? What does he mean? And what is the most serious truth? Did you find out something about this island? Hm. Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean. Bin ich leise? Muss ich lauter? No, lauter. A beautiful island paradise. Oder ich kann die uh, Musik ein bisschen leiser machen. Ich mach... Uh, oh. Ich spiel nochmal ein bisschen leiser. Ja, ah, ja, genau. Ich dachte, ich mach's leiser und drehe auch so sehen lauter. So. <lacht> There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of central islands. Uh, was? It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. <lacht> Wie leiser was? Ja? Das andere leise? Keine Ahnung. Mach ich einfach weiter. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Huh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be? Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. Hold on! 
one. Order right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh. Meh. I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we're all gonna live here, right? Yeah! Let me get on this trip It's really exciting. I'm so looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't a bad school at all. Alright, you guys. I like it. I like this island too. Yeah. Can't say the same about the rest of you. <laughs> Credits. Uh -huh. uh, did I hear something? Hmm. I'm so worried about it. I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head over something. Huh? To tell you, plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible! There's no way we can swim that far! Show some spirit! <laughs> you know, what he said. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you that's impossible. Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you! No, uh you didn't do that. That's the biggest of no Got it? Please recall the guidelines of this school trip. The terrain is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's beautiful nature and nurture prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along with this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. The Aquia is more benutzen. Storm, this rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Dangerous a bit much. I wouldn't do jumping like that. How'd you act? I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now, don't do anything weird. It seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the help fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that. <laughs> there's no other choice but to believe for now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, you Sammy, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? That's right. Well, of course, I didn't forget. This is it. Don't be upset. I've prepared one for you all, so don't worry. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's a little tummy spread. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. <laughs> Isn't it good? What a waste of time. Aww. Man, you know, I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed to even yeah. have my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit. I wish Hami does move a rabbit, you know? Regardless, a large number of Asami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figure, after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey! You can't take nature with trash. Ah! See, even you think they're trash. Sammy sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> oh, and I prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm? You have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Osami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Wait a I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey! Motive? But... The giant a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something I didn't <laughs> Like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Alright! Wow! Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature train? How wonderful! Anyway... Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My <laughs> lawns are still full of poison and I'd appreciate if you could suck it up with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru! Alright! Oh, your tender lawns. You betcha. <laughs> Just yes. ignore him, Sonia. I've got it! If you're talking about fun parties on Tropic Island, maybe you should be a barbecue or something. Campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! It's my new hoop snack. <laughs> what the fuck? You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first, Ta-da! This is what it's all about. This is a swimming bag. Correct, 
blah, blah, blah. Whoa! And that means... Ta-da! Right, I have scream shoots for everyone. Well, it's cool scream shoots, actually. Well, that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Let's... It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Yahoo! Uh, that's right! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my hands agree, you see. Alright! Your tender lines, I understand. Wait, seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? Alright, let's go trash! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Osami and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey, what are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime, I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so... Am I actually wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna swim, Byakuya. Not possible. Of course not. That's enough. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? <laughs> I simply don't like ocean water, it's too salty. It's not something to boast about, little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. Huh? You're not going to swim, Hajime? Oh. How are you going to get you believe me? There's no way I can believe her. <coughs> <coughs> You're not gonna swim? Sleepy. Oh, also, that's for Hajime. You're not gonna swim? Mm, I'm like really, really sleepy right now. Uh, I see, it'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like definitely drown? But it'd be sleepy in a situation like this. She's sure got some bold nerves. <laughs> Speaking of which, everyone hits with dirt. As Usami said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Amikan, Amikan by the contrast. Uh, the water is so cool. It feels great. Oh, uh, too salty. This water's too salty. It's not going easy on me. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Uh, would anyone like a rub down? Oh, you're quite considerate. <laughs> now then, will you apply it right away? Hmm? Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Oh, man. It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... <laughs> yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard to tell everyone I'm used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, 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 ding. Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this hard throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then. I'll do it. That's right. I'll do it. Huh? What do you mean? Did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one wearing. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! <laughs> I've got this Gundam there hinten in the Sandburg for his hamster about. Wait, huh?
Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds, this doesn't look natural at all. Uh, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment, just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's, as if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised, right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could it be? It's false. If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. I wait. Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait. Well, what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Shit, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Aww. Oh, there's just too many Mr. Cramps. <laughs> Fine, I'll just step on them later. What? The, what is wrong with you? You crabs better run while you still can. <laughs> As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? I didn't. Who are you talking to? <laughs> You show yourself. <laughs> oh yeah. Da haben doch alle drauf gewartet. Yeah, Applaus. Why, hello there. Thank you all for waiting. Long time no see, guys. I am Monokuma. I'm the headmaster of this academy! Monokuma appears! Oh god, I can not hide it on his face, my mission. Madam, now that I have made a dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame! This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say! Lame other than the lamest lame sauce! Oh, wait, lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey! Just as I thought it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Oh, shut up! Hey, um, it, you know, and I'm about ready to bar thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Because yeah. what's with this hot rubbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey! It just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you You're thinking? gonna make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing you say makes any damn sense. What? What? What, what is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, anyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know anyone who points here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! Opening! Dun, 
Da da da! Victory! <laughs> Go! My magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. Uh, is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya. I'll bite ya. I'll rip you apart. <gasps> Stop it! Hey, hold still. This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself My in, God. you know? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! To look weird like this, takes me back to normal. What's this? Oh, <laughs> boy, find your big brother's fashion sense. Is Mono me a little troublemaker? Hey! Big brother, Mono me? My little sister! Your current position is too wishy washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Mono me. <laughs> oh, it's only an external setting after all. Hey! Why do I have to be your little sister? Wah -wah? Big sister, then? You wanna be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't like that. That doesn't this. really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. So, that's how it's gonna be, Mono Me. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Oh, uh, well, even the display changed. <laughs> Stimmt, da links steht jetzt Mono Me. <laughs> even the display changed to Mono Me. I won't forgive you. I won't let you make up your own settings. Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? Ich stelle mir gerade vor, wie alle anderen da einfach nur stehen mit offenem Mund und nicht wissen, was sie sagen sollen. Even if one second opening is life threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey! What with this what was this stupid performance? Huh? Who freaking knows? Mm. But it's obvious something bad is happening. Oh? What, what is this? What is going on? <laughs> huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? Spritch is me now, you know. How insensitive. What the There's more of him. Oh, what does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear. I'm Mono Koopa. What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal beard. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Mono Koopa, the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. This is Mono Koopa? Huh? Did you say the headmaster? Anyway. If we got less, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> declaration. From this point onward, oh shit. The killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all, and it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey! hey. You guys agree with me, right? So, let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're kidding. Why contestants? I won't forgive Why you. Why are you saying? I would absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Dumb child. Brain. Where is that me, Mono Me? How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in my brother, little sister's never smarter than your big brother. <laughs> Allow me to well, explain! Then. We got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the kidding school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, kidding school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Well... Kill each other, I see. <laughs> No way! What are you saying? That's impossible. No! Wow, don't you think it's kinda lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. Yahoo! If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right!
The class trial is the real charm of this Keeling school trip. Allow me to oh, explain! Yeah. <laughs> if one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. In the class trial, there will be a showdown between the black and killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you present your arguments about who you think the black end is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the black and killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you were found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word punished over and over. What's the deal with that? Mm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... Uh, execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the Killing School trip! <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it! I'm already getting excited! There may even be some unique punishments, like <laughs> impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw! Jesus. Hmm. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. <laughs> To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all you can murder buffet of theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic! It's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill, someone is entirely up to you. No, no! Be Youth doesn't last forever. Oh, it'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... <laughs> Who knows? I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a happy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute, why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious there's a reason you all need to kill each other. Huh? Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what would happen. I'm gonna do it! What? A fight? Do we need to beat the crap out of their black and white beard? Let's go. Who would, dare try, who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Hmm, that's so. Well, I guess I expected this reaction. <laughs> if you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey! What, what are you gonna do? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! Oops. <laughs> I have seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island, but still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> what Why did the statue this? move? That escalated quickly. Wrong. It's no statue, but a mono beast. <laughs> the schrei. Monster. I just said they're mono beasts. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games, and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No! It's get me. It's just too weird. Don't tell me! Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> A nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. 
Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow emotions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid, ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. This defining events according to the genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone! Please stay back. I will protect everyone. I can't move. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. What's this? Ah, I know. This is nausea. You seek me sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! Alright, it's, it's decided. Punishment time! You will be my example to everyone. Well, oops. It's a different stage, and what it means, I'm dead. What? It was still a demon, or perhaps it's a weapon from the future. What are these dreadful weapons of destruction? The sudden appearance of a monster, even though a life friend and monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster, we were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. Oh, that's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, giving an example, was totally the right call. Ah! Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe, we just stood there horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well then, now then, I believe I've made my point. Oh. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me! Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! <laughs> An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all! Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then. <laughs> Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his monobeasts vanished before our eyes. When the murder takes place. Claustrum, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> okay, do you listen? The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. War das beim ersten Mal auch schon so mit three or more people? Ich glaube ja. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressive, expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the... I didn't even care if this was the ath aftermath. My good. Everyone else looked the same. We all have this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. That is all. That's all there is to it. <laughs> there will be one thing if we were not against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. 
Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really possible. Those Mona Beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Those Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Who is it? Who? Ah, uh, <laughs> It can't be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway... More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh... You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines or even of whoever is controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no different, so can I be truly confident that something like that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of the situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful day, full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Ah. <lacht> da kommt das Intro. Hätte ich es am Anfang eigentlich auch überspringen können. Ich suche mir mal ein Taschentuch ein, das läuft. Ich schon erwähnt, wie toll das Lied ist. Aha. Passt zurückgekommen. You have obtained a present. Faux show broken wand. Okay. You like to save. Yep. This lead is so toll gruselig. Okay, it's something I got it, yes. The plaque is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hab ich ja gerade erst angeguckt. A 
As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he... really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures, that kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I had grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders the classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter 1 Destination Despair Daily Life Simon, du musst jetzt eigentlich wieder so einen Randomizer bauen, damit ich auswählen kann, mit wem ich abhänge. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. <laughs> But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. Gee, thanks. <laughs> bye bye. Ich finde es auch toll, wie er so einen Cocktail trinkt. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Kann ich hier noch rein? Oder werde ich ihn direkt umgebracht? Hm, wurde keiner da. Das ist, keine Ahnung, ah, Chiaki, die Gamerin, Kyoko, die komische, verrückte, psychopathische Tänzerin, Peko Peko, die Schwertkämpferin, Ibuki, die Musikerin, Mahiro, die Fotografin, Sonja, die Prinzessin, Akane, die ähm, Sportlerin, Mikan, die Krankenschwester, ich habe beim zweiten Teil immer Probleme gehabt, die Gesichter vernünftig zu erkennen. Okay, bei einigen ist es klar, das ist Kazuichi, der Mechaniker. Ah, okay, Hajime, das ist unser ja. Fuyuhiko, der äh, Fuyuhiko, der Yakuza, Fat Byakuya, Nekomaru, der ultimative Trainer, Nagito, der Lucky Student, Gundam, der Verrückte, na gut, alle verrückt hier, ja, der Breeder, Teru Teru, der Koch. Ich dachte mir, es wäre ganz gut, schon mal ab und zu alle durchzugehen, damit ihr euch die langsam einprägt. Nächste Woche gibt's einen Test. Damn it. As soon as I enter the cottage, I collapse onto the bed. What the hell? 
As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, I even, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. A scream erupted from my mouth. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Yeah, okay. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing ba waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, this is no longer the world you knew. And once again I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all, and if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Oh god. That's my guess. Of you who purchased Dungeon Rumble 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Dungeon Rumble 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It generally deserves to be called a true game, so make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart rubbing action to your heart's content. Now then! Until the very end. Please enjoy this game to the fullest! Thank you, we will.